it's Kelly. So, day two, part two of Plant Tour. All right, so this is an overview of what it looks like. We're going to start in the middle and then probably jump over here and then over here. All right. Okay, so in the top tier of my Tiger King inspired planter, we have a bunch of Dracaenas. I don't know the names of them. This is the Janet Craig, I think. This is like White Stripe or White Star. This is the Bonnie Spider Plant. It's not doing so hot right now with the move and everything. This is another type of Dracaena. They're so pretty. I really like them. Here's another kind. Here's another kind. I thought these were the same, but now I'm not sure. So, and then we will, I guess we'll spin this. Dracaena. All right, down to the next tier. This is my Pearl and Jade Pothos, doing well. And we're just gonna keep spinning, I guess. <laughs> okay. Then we have another Philodendron Brazil. I really want the Philodendron uh, Rio, but. One day. And then we got this big guy, the golden pothos, which is finally starting to get a little bit of gold in him. Such an easy plant. And down to the next tier. And we'll start over here. This is Scindaptus pictus. Arginera, Arginus, something like that. Then we have the Marble Queen Pathos, which is dirty. Girl, clean yourself off. So pretty. Each leaf is different. I love the patterns on these kinds of leaves. They're all so different. And then the last one in this tower is my Neon Pothos, which is also a little dirty. But she's doing good. She's trailing. Still got decent sized leaves coming up. We got uh, some small leaves and some larger leaves, so we'll just keep looking at you, figuring it out. All right, so there's that, and we'll jump down here. So these are my Sansevierias. I think this is the Laurentii. I think that might be the black coral, or it's just the non-variegated Laurentii. I don't know, and then this is the Moonshine. And then this is a reverted Laurentii little baby that I had and I threw in here and still doing okay over here we have Peperomia obtusifolia a whole bunch of them we got the medium green with the dark green variegation on the inside we have the dark green inside with the yellow variegation on the outside we just have the the complete jade color and then we have one with white or tan. No, I guess that's like a, or cream color. That's a cream color with light green and dark green. So, give you a quick little spin. Look at this leaf. So pretty. And we also have like a, a mashup of dark green on the outside and different colored light greens and creams on the inside. These are very easy plants. I would recommend getting these. So, 
so okay we'll jump over to the other side of this table these are my rubber plants I have the burgundy the tanaki no this is the this is the ruby these are dusty too and then this little one in here is the tanaki which isn't doing so hot so try to put her more closer to the light alrighty so there's that alright we're gonna go up here now we're on to the Hoyas alright so where to start where to start alright Hoya Croiana doing well Hoya Rebecca doing well she's creeping up back there Hoya Numeroides growing really well Hoya Cardiophylla is doing well. She's putting out new leaves. This is a new leaf. Okay, we'll try that. <laughs> Sorry, the light was just like in my face. Alright. This one, all of the leaves look different. Hoya Lobii Red. This is another princess down here. We have a, I think it's called a split rock succulent. Doing well. And he's in a little narwhal planter. Got this from Dollar Tree. This one is Hoya Heshguliana Yellow. This one. These are from the seeds that I got from Doug Chamberlain. Uh, his, this name is Hoya Paposhiani, something like that. This is Hoya Diversifolia. And then this is, um, these are seeds I got from a YouTube friend. I think it's String of Watermelon. So we have a couple of seedlings that are still alive so all right down here we have Hoya aldrichii doing well it's hard to get in here Hoya macrophylla albo marginera this one is Hoya bent Benti Tuani, Hoya Sunrise. It's kind of lost some of the uh, stress that it had being over here. It's not directly in the light. That's okay. Hoya Bolusan. Still with the two leaves. Alright, Hoya Danumenensis. They're like larger. Um, ruffled edged leaves. We have my Hoya Australis doing well. This one I'll take out so you guys can see. Hoya Benkuntunesis. And I'm not sure if this is the growth pattern of like they grow in like a spiral looking shape. But it's cool. So I can't wait to see a third leaf come out or a fourth leaf sorry come out and see what it looks like and if it's shaped like this. So. Then we have Hoya Jennifer. Nice large venated leaves. And we have another princess right here. Okay. Down here. This is there's two pots. Um it's either the Hoya Kentiana variegata or Hoya Wayedi variegata. Variegated. Not sure. 
I have another little Hindu rope back there. Do you want to wear And then here is another princess. They're very easy to grow, so you can like cut them off, stick them in soil, they'll root and be good. Right here is my Hoya Carnosa. Just regular, putting out some new leaves and tendrils. And then this is the Hoya Bertonia. I recently just like kind of threw him up there because he was trailing all over the floor and I was trying to sweep. So he's doing pretty well. So there we go. Uh, is those shelves these uh, three planters I got from Dollar Tree so go check it out see if you can find them they're cute next we're on to this side hold on I'm gonna turn off the lights all right we'll start over here Hoya Carii uh, variegated on the inside Hoya Carii variegated albogemonera with the variegation on the outside. Regular Hoya Carii. Right here is a lithops. I have two Hoya memorias. And they're doing really well. We got some new growth coming up back here. the new Buddha leaf. Hoya Melodithii. And I'm probably saying these names wrong, but that's how I'm saying them. Then we have the Hoya Croniana Eskimo. This is more of the seeds I got from Doug Chamberlain. And this one has, yeah, Hoya Papishoonii. I got this as a bonus when I bought cuttings from him. And Hoya diptera. Still dying. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, so then down to the second shelf. We have the Hoya Carnosa Crinkle. soon because you're growing too tall but there's various numbers of crinkles so I guess that's why it's not specified as a Chelsea or a crinkle 8 because each leaf is different which I prefer then we have the Hoya Carnosa freckles which snapped um, in the move the top part of it snapped off and I stuck that in with another little propagation I had my Hoya Incrustinata, Incrustata, sorry. Put out a new little leaf. So, Hoya Grithii, still there. All right, Hoya Morellii, still, oh no, we got green. We got a green, oops, sorry. We got two green spots. Focus, please. Nope, that's not what I wanted you to focus on. Uh, Alright. But, look at that. Okay, so this is, I forget the name of this, this leaf. Hoya Rosaria, maybe? And the, just the leaf uh, rooted. All of the rest of the cutting from Doug Chamberlain died. But the leaf rooted, so it's stuck in there. And then this is the Hoya freckles that I stuck in there and so far it hasn't died so it should be okay I think Hoya fungi look at that new leaf don't know why it's that color but that's okay this these leaves have always looked funky so I don't know Hoya menu purnesses there. Very pretty. The Hoya Bella. We have um, like a little chunk of 
yellow spotting on the leaves, but the new leaves coming in are full green, so we'll see. I haven't seen any pests, so I don't know. And then the Hoya tangsii, which I'm pretty sure is the same thing as the Bertonii, but it was labeled that, so that's what I put it as. All right, and the last shelf over here. We have two plants of Hoya pubicalyx. This one, I don't think is doing so hot. I got this one up here, but I think the soil that is it that it's in is like too moisture retentive. And it's kind of like drowning it, so I'm going to switch that out soon. And the next is the Hoya obovata. Right here is the Hoya multiflora. And then I have two of the Hoya shepardi eyes. So they're doing well. All right, maybe we can get this video within like a 10 to 15 mark minutes, hopefully. All right, so this is part two of my plant tour. It looks so cute, right? It's a cute little ball, I know. I would love to add more Hoyas, but we're gonna have to wait on that, so. All right, and that's it, guys. Peace out.